A few weeks ago, I released a video where I solved the MIT integration with finals problems for 2024. And it was, I think, problem three or problem four that required me to invoke these two very interesting integral formulae. And at that point, I did not make a write-up or a video where I proved these two formulae. And then I just forgot about it. Then, subscriber Axel Arno from France, I hope I did not butcher your name, uh, correct me somehow in the comment section or... He texted me on Instagram asking me for some proof of these two formulae. And that's how, and that's, that was basically the reminder that, yo, you're supposed to make a video on these two. So here we are today. We'll start off with this integral here. We're going to call it I sub one. So I sub one is the integral from zero to infinity of X to the S minus one divided by one plus X to the K DX. It's a fairly simple proof. All we need is one substitution where we let x to the k equal u, which implies that x equals u to the 1 by k, and this further implies that dx equals terribly sorry about that. So d, what is wrong with this? Okay, dx equals 1 by k times u to the 1 by k minus 1 du. Okay, so I sub 1 is the integral still from zero to infinity. And we have this factor of one by K because of the differential element. And we have X to the S minus one, which is now U to the S by K minus one by K times this U to the one by K minus one divided by one plus U DU. And simplifying the numerator a bit, we have one by K times the integral from zero to infinity of U to the Let's see what we have here. These two cancel out, so we have s by k minus 1 divided by 1 plus u, integration with respect to u. Now this integral here is actually the integral form of the beta function. In general, the beta function with complex arguments u and v is defined as the integral from 0 to infinity of u to Oh, wait, 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 I should probably change them. Let's just call them z sub 1 and z sub 2. These are the arguments. So u to the z sub 1 minus 1 divided by 1 plus u to the z sub 1 plus z sub 2 integration with respect to u. So in this case, we have the target integral, that's i sub 1, equal to 1 by k times the beta function evaluated at, let's see, we have s by k over here. And the sum of the arguments should be 1. So that means I should have a 1 minus s by k term here. And now to invoke the very useful relationship between the beta and the gamma functions. So I have 1 by k times gamma s by k times gamma 1 minus s by k divided by gamma s by k plus 1 minus s by k. So we have the product of the gamma functions evaluated at the two arguments divided by the gamma function evaluated at the sum of the two arguments. So we have gamma 1 in the denominator, which is of course 1, and we're left with gamma s by k times gamma 1 minus s by k. And now we can invoke the reflection formula by Euler. So we have 1 by k times pi times the cosecant of pi s by k in this case. And there you have it. That's the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the s minus 1 divided by 1 plus x to the k dx. Okay, so for i sub 2, we have the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the s minus 1 divided by 1 minus x to the k dx. Now this integral converges only in the principal value sense. So and just keep that in mind that the entire solution development is within the context of the of the principal value of this integral. So I'm not going to be writing principal value for every single step of the solution development, but that's the entire context over here. Anyway, this is a pretty interesting solution development. It's a very interesting derivation. And it starts off by splitting up the integral into an integral from 0 to 1 plus an integral from 1 to infinity of x to the s minus 1 divided by 1 minus x to the k dx. And now I need, I need a substitution here, rather a transformation from the x realm to the 1 by x realm. 
that will give me another integral from 0 to 1. So the differential element transforms into negative 1 by x squared dx. Okay, cool. So I now have, wait, let me just write this out. I have the integral from 1 to 0 of x to the 1 minus s times x to the negative 2 divided by 1 minus x to the negative k dx. And I could just expand using x to the k. And that would give me, wait, I have a negative sign here because of the differential element. And I can get rid of that by switching up the limits of integration. So I have the integral from 0 to 1 of x to what exactly we have k minus s minus 1. And in the denominator, we have x to the k minus 1 dx. Okay, everything's looking good so far. So that means we have the target integral that was i sub 2. So we have i sub 2 equal to a sum of two integrals over 0 to 1. So we're just going to combine them using the linearity of the integration operator. And we have the integral of x to the s minus 1 you know what, let's keep a negative sign over here because I would like the denominator to be 1 minus x to the k. So I have this common denominator of 1 minus x to the k. And upstairs we already have the x to the s minus 1 and we have a minus sign and x to the k minus s minus 1 integration with respect to x. And now we need one more substitution. So we're going to let x to the k equal u which implies that dx is going to be, again, 1 by k times u to the 1 by k minus 1 du. And this implies that i sub 2 is 1 by k times the integral still from 0 to 1. The limits are not altered. And we have for the integrand u to what exactly? So x is u to the 1 by k. So we have s by k minus 1 by k minus u to the... 1 minus s by k minus 1 by k divided by 1 minus u. And the whole thing is supposed to be multiplied by this factor of what exactly? It's u to the 1 by k minus 1 du. Okay, everything's looking good so far because we have some nice cancellations taking place. The 1 by k's, uh, they're gone, and we have 1 by k times the integral from 0 to 1 of u to what exactly? We have u to the s by k minus u to the 1 minus s by k integration with 1 minus u in the denominator integration with respect to u. Okay, so I forgot to factor in the u to the negative 1 as well, so we do have, because of this thing here, the 1 by k terms do cancel out, but now we have s by k minus 1 and negative s by k here. Okay, cool. And now it's time to invoke another special function. And I really like solution developments that make use of special functions because there's a level of fuck you associated with special functions. I mean, you could go something like, yeah, bro, I could solve this using a series expansion, and that would be cool and shit. I mean, yeah, sure, that would. But, I mean, pulls out the digamma function. That is insanely cool. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So the digamma function has a really nice integral representation. We have digamma s plus 1 equal to negative Euler Mascheroni constant plus integral from 0 to 1 of 1 minus u to the s divided by 1 minus u integration with respect to u. And for our integral, we could take the difference of two digamma functions. It's digamma z1 plus 1 plus, no wait, minus digamma z2 plus 1. That would mean the Euler Mascheronis cancel out and we have integral 0 to 1. Uh, what exactly? That's u to the z2. Correct. That's z2 minus u to the z1 divided by 1 minus u du, which looks strikingly similar to our integral. So we conclude that i sub 2 is actually 1 by k times what exactly do we have? We have the digamma function evaluated at uh, that's 1 minus s by k. No, it would. Uh, yeah, exactly. 
it is 1 minus s by k and then we have minus di gamma s by k okay cool and this is the di gamma version of the reflection formula you can derive this by taking Euler's reflection formula for the gamma function and applying the natural logarithm to it and then differentiating because the logarithmic derivative of the gamma function is of course the di gamma function so in that case we would get for our arguments pi by k times the cotangent of pi times the argument which is s by k in this case and there you have it that's the integral from 0 to infinity of x to the s minus 1 dx divided by 1 minus x to the k of course in the principal value sense which is a pretty cool result and i hope you enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe save these for your next integration b or competition or whatever you could just use this to like flex on your friends or something like that it's, it's pretty cool so share this with them as well anyway i hope you enjoyed the video be sure to like and subscribe i'm pretty sure i already said that Thank you. See you next time.